Okay, continuing our series of live updates from Preston New Road on this day of a 13 person, all locals lock on with three councillors in the lineup. Uh, just showing you the police have now turned up. Uh, we've had the PLOs here for a while. And then now we've had um, three people from the protester removal team and they've just been to assess the lock-ons and then consider what equipment they'll be bringing. So no sign of cutting out for ages yet, I don't think. And they're really well-built, well-constructed lock-ons. And so I doubt they're gonna get any traffic in today. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a long one. And also there's 13 people locked on. I think there's one, two, three individuals and the other 10 are in sets of two. So five sets of two and three individuals. Uh, two of whom are wheelchair users as well, so they're having to be particularly cautious, uh, people with health issues. <coughs> We've all been here. <coughs> Most of the people you can see have been here all night. And uh, the lock-on started about quarter to three this morning, just to be sure. As you might be aware, if you've been following the scenes from this road for the last, couple, last week or so, there's been bits and pieces of the drill rig been moved from Chesterfield where PR Marriott is storing it and we know it's been brought into the area and so we know that they're going to do everything they can to get this rig in this week and so we're just going to make sure they don't. Don't forget also that uh, July is a month that we decry decreed as a month of continuous daily activity, um, rolling protests put on with the help of uh, Reclaim the Power, Frack Off, the local groups and residents and groups from across the country are going to come in support. So if you can help us out here at the roadside, that'd be great. We're here pretty much 24 hours a day, every day now. And just down the road at Maple Farm, PR4, 3PE on the A583, that's the Preston New Road. So just down the hill, heading towards Blackpool from Kirkham, you'll find, after you pass this gates of hell, you'll find Maple Farm. That's now a community hub with a kitchen that can cater uh, and will cater lunches and dinners every day. Uh, artist area, so you can come make banners. You don't need to be at the roadside, that's not essential. Uh, we nearly need all the help we can get. And kitchen crew is really important to us. There's places for you to camp, so, uh, safe places for you to camp, where we're welcome, where it's not under eviction orders, you know, where we're welcome on the land. So there's no excuse, you've got to come sometime in July. And why wouldn't you want to spend time in the company of these good people? We've also been really lucky today. We've got an excellent photographer there. We've got two excellent photographers working on this. I think Roz is up the road somewhere as well. And we've also had a videographer team who are putting together a... Here's that tower. I'm trying to play catch. As videographers have been with us both today and as well through some of the planning meetings that pulled this lock-on together. So the lock-on, I'll just show you the sets of twos. and uh, There's five sets of twos three individuals so these are the lock-on crews two there individual in a wheelchair in her hand locked into a barrel another two here being entertained by a PLO very good of you to come and entertain part of the welfare crew bloody useless you just can't get the cops these days Nick in the comfy bed because he's a very tired man basically never sleeps he's here all the time Julie Brickles who should be sleeping and isn't can't you sleep love another Nick Martin at least dozing lots of support another you can't quite see but she's got her arm in a barrel there as well. Did you find something to eat, darling? Did you get I'm something fine. to eat? You did? Yes. Okay. And here we have Councillor Gina. He's having a rest. I'm not going to disturb her. Each person has their own little board that tells their story. There's another one. And this must be the most uncomfortable of the lock-ons that I've seen. We've had some decent music this morning as well. We've just done a Beatles morning. Morning. Sun's coming out. Looks like the rain's going to go away. This 
There's a great artwork going on here too. So how do we think today is going to go? What we think is going to probably happen, uh, now that we don't like this one, he's very violent, um, is that we think we're going to have, uh, obviously the tester removal team will come back later. There's just been the three that have come and assessed it, but they didn't come with equipment. So I expect that they'll be back in the next hour or two. And when they do come back, it's going to take them a very long time to cut out five pairs and three individuals. So I just wanted to get some of this writing that's on here. They've named the towers Frackpool Towers. As well as a Bibli block after Bibs who built it. Every activist camp I've ever been to has had love hearts in abundance. So it's all good. And it's going to be no business today for Quadrilla. We're watching at PR Marriott in Chesterfield as well, where the rig is. And we see that they're already slow walking there. If anyone from Chesterfield's watching this, we all say thanks so much because you're keeping them from us. And that's brilliant. I love this sign. Yeah, it's beautiful. And certainly very visible on this busy road. So again, keeping these updates really short because it's going to be a long day and there's going to be lots of little snippets of films. Worth looking to that you'll see Frank Roberts is also live. And who else was live? Kieran Dunn is live. Kieran, are you live streaming as well today? Okay, so Kieran Dunn's also live streaming. And yeah, so Kieran Dunn, Frank Roberts, me. And I think Sally Moss will be at some point as well. I think she's just gone off the road for now, but she will be. Meanwhile, security team ready. They were pretty okay last night. We had, um, when we were here, all in front of the gates. And then, uh, then when we decided it was time to lock on, a van pulled up very quickly. And uh, it pulled up quickly. Everyone jumped out with the equipment. In the meantime, they said, hold the gates, hold the gates. So we all threw ourselves against the gates. Uh, security thought we were trying to break through. So they pushed the gates back into us. And we made them understand that we were not trying to break through, but we were going to hold the gates in place so they couldn't get back out and that they couldn't stop us from doing the lock-on. And by the time we'd argued that one through, uh, yeah, the lock-ons were in place. It was an amazing thing to be a part of, to see the planning and the execution of it. It was brilliant, really well done. To rise up, you'll rise up. All the power you need is in your hands. We've got DJs now today. Around, this has been so good. Our financial systems have been hijacked by a generation of thieves. While you're working harder and harder for less and less, the game is being rigged against you. They're turning all of us into virtual slaves. Looters at the heart of Look our Look at that scene, the sky, it's amazing. Our fixing our most precious resources. Food, water, energy, gold. Even the value of money itself is being siphoned away by high-level crooks in a giant mushroom conspiracy of unstoppable corruption. <laughs> They are robbing billions of people of trillions of dollars a year, folks. There is no need for austerity measures. There is no need for financial suffering. No need for poverty. There is no scarcity. We are simply the victims of a robbery of unimaginable proportions. We have been fed a lie so vast it oppresses all of humanity. There is more than enough to go around. 60 years ago, productivity was increasing so fast, they predicted by today, entire families could live comfortably. 
siphoned away by a corrupt criminal class. They loot. Isla Rainier, it's a beautiful sight to see. Raising prices, lowering wages, stealing the fruits of and Mary, our yeah. activity. Takes Where breath away, doesn't it? With just one provider, now both parents work, delivering eight And you know, every conversation you sit in here, here is a lovely conversation to behold. A woman there with the glasses, uh, she's been up for at least 24 hours. She's part of the filmmaking crew who are going to, by the end of today, have edited the video and we'll have that for sharing by this evening. They were with us for the planning meetings for this. They did interviews with each of the lock-ons before they actually took their place. And they've been amazingly good. Also, just, uh, where's Christian? He's a brilliant photographer. He's also across there in the orange. He's been up as long as we have. You know, and these are people who aren't necessarily part of the activism, but they've come in and really played a role. You know, the mainstream leaves us out, so we write our own media. We have our live streams. There's Frank taking a break from his live streaming. So, but don't forget, when I take a break from mine, if you want to tune in, you've got Frank Roberts over there. Here's a slightly more fruity commentary, perhaps. And then up there, Kieran Dunn, who has an ideal position on top of that tower, who will also be live streaming later. In the meantime, keeping it brief, I'll turn this off now, and then we'll come back a little later on.